What's up YouTube? I am back with Dr. Matt Clay from Potomac Family Sports and Chiropractic here in Ashburn, Virginia. And the last video, Matt walked me through two shoulder health exercises that you can do at home to help keep your shoulders nice and healthy. Today, it's all about the hip. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Matt's gonna uh, walk me through two hip health exercises that you can do at home to help keep your hip nice and strong and healthy for your fitness journey. Ready? Absolutely. Let's do it. This one is gonna be called hip cars. So similar to the shorter car that we did earlier, she's just gonna take the hip through a full range of motion, <clears throat> making sure that everything in there is firing, everything in there is good and healthy. So what she's gonna start off with is keeping tension throughout the core. Her stance leg's gonna be here on the left. Yep, she's gonna pull that knee up towards the ceiling. She's gonna to start to externally rotate. Once we see that pelvis starting to drift a little bit, she's going to start to internally rotate, pulling that knee back towards me, always fighting for height here with the knee, until she ends right back by her side, she's going to keep that knee bent. Then to reverse, she's going to go into hip extension, hip locks, yep, she's going to bring it out, fighting for height with that knee, coming forward, up, and around, very good. So that's a lot harder than it looks too, trying to keep tension Absolutely. And, and keeping your knee height up there. And, and I think one thing that I've improved upon is how far out I can go. Correct. Um, I think um, you want to make sure that your pelvis isn't turning in as you're trying to get that knee up and around. Correct. Yeah. Usually with people with low back pain, hip mechanics are usually the first thing that start to tighten up and if you don't have good internal external rotation as Susan just uh, demonstrated it starts to affect the low back with walking with running doing squats lunges deadlifts all that stuff awesome all right here we go next one so we're gonna get Susan down into a half kneeling position so she's gonna go right knee down left leg forward so here she wants to maintain the 90 degree knee angle and knee is going to be lined up through the center of the foot. I like between the second and third toe <clears throat> for this position. She's going to swim that leg underneath as she's already done and then she's going to rotate that pelvis towards that lead leg there. Now what she's going to do here is stay up nice and tall and then she's just going to hinge back towards me just to there and once she's here what she's going to feel like she's doing is driving that femur or that leg bone down into the pad and that's going to get activation in her glute med and it's going to get activation in that BMO. So the pairing up of these two muscles helps to stabilize the hip and pelvis also helps to stabilize the knee so anyone with like runner's knee IT band syndrome this is a good one to do if you have a partner you just have them put a hand in the back there, say, don't let me move you. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you can shake and shake it. And the, the pressing this down is what really turns everything on. Holy smokes. Yep. It looks like I'm just sitting here, but trust me, I'm not. <laughs> oh, She's working hard. Oh yeah. So as she rotates that pelvis towards the lead knee, she's gonna come back, stand up nice and tall. So I'm just going to the top of the pelvis there, hand on top. I'm gonna to apply a pressure going straight forward. She's not letting me move her. And that helps with turning that glute on. Oh my God. Helps with getting that VMO active. This is really tough, you guys, but I, I will say this, it feels amazing. It does. And, yep. and when my hip stiffens up, I go to this in between sets of squats especially yeah um boy does that feel good yep helps to decompress the hip it helps to again like you talked about get that glute knee to fire so if any of you have had like issues with the squat or you see that your knees are going in or an asymmetry this is a good exercise to get that muscle firing with that bmo um because sometimes it just doesn't get enough love yeah. it's a little bit more yeah it never gets enough love it's gonna get a lot of love here absolutely <laughs> So there you have it, you have two exercises that you can do for your hip. Um, and I do these regularly now as a result of having some hip issues um, 
in the past. So if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below. Click subscribe so you know when the next video is coming out. And if you have any um, suggestions on videos that you would like to see us do, please let us know. Put them down there as well. And thanks for being here. Have a great day. See you guys.